is going to be a Tsugami Tsunami. You may have heard that before. You may not. We're going to talk about the Omega TMM vision, what they are, who they are, so that you can know a little bit more. Let's talk about some of this technology. We have really exciting machines to showcase, some for the first time. Here are some glimpses from the event. And we're launching four machines at IMTS, right? Four new machines that have never been seen in the North American market. Automation as a whole here in the U.S. is obviously a global thing. Fanix's uh, theme coming into this show is we are hearing what the customers need and we're displaying it and we're showing it. So that's the beauty with EDM is if you can find the job or set the jobs up right, you know, you got additive build plates, um, you know, or tool profiles is it's not a super fast process, but it runs by itself. Let's talk Starag, mid-1800s, beautiful technology. We know of Boomotech, we look at SIP, we look at Heckard. I mean, how many lines are there here, right, from small to big? Yeah, we're going to cover a lot of topics today. We really want to dig into our digital manufacturing solutions. You know, as a company, we've got a reputation for providing great design tools, uh, AutoCAD and so on, but we actually do so much more than that. Digital manufacturing for us is, you know, that full spectrum of CNC machining, additive manufacturing, generative design and so much more. So we're production monitoring for CNC machines and most of the industry has defined monitoring as collecting utilization data and making operators enter downtime reason codes. We're the ones who declared that the complete wrong approach and flipped monitoring on its head by saying there should be no operator input required. Your monitoring software should automatically figure out how your jobs are supposed to run. So if we look big picture, the whole market, uh, the Gardner survey last year for 2022 capital spending, you know, they're very clear. The number one reason people are buying machines today is to gain better productivity and better efficiency. You know, everybody's getting squeezed on the manpower side of things. People need to make better investments so that when they're purchasing that asset, they're getting more out of it. We have got a booth full of solutions, Tony, and that's the most important thing, right? We've got OEM partners and systems integrator partners who have built solutions for manufacturing automation. The, the customer has many times to find different vendors to uh, bring things together. The problem is to, to connect them, to have interfaces between it. We can now make the machines together with automation under one roof, and that means that the customer has only one contact, no problem, who has made a failure to connect the machines. It's been a really exciting week. You know, yesterday we talked about uh, the production of this innovative part. We went from the blueprint to the finished piece. Today we want to talk a little bit more about our digitalization solutions. We want to talk about our additive manufacturing offering. And most importantly, we really want to talk about our new CNC controller, Cinemeric One. Yeah, so this year is the 75 anniversary, uh, anniversary and uh, family-owned business, which is not common anymore in this industry. So I'm very proud, proud to be the third generation and uh, uh, growing the company, it's, it's just fun. Last live stream of IMTS 2022, and we saved the best for last, or at least that's what Brent would want me to say for sure, right, buddy? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about the importance of partnerships when it comes to Akuma. Well, that's everything. I mean, everybody makes a good product in the machine tool business, so ultimately, it comes down to who you are as an organization, your culture, and the support that you give customers. Part of the power of Akuma is we have the best distributor network on planet Earth. First of all, super excited to be back here. It's been a crazy show. There's been so many people on the booth excited to talk about all these technologies. Um, so if we look at a few themes that we have on our booth, one of the first ones, it's been a theme for a while, it's the five axis machining, multi-axis machine tools, hybrid, you know. Now you're starting not to even be able to know whether it's a mill or a lathe because it's doing both. Well, we've grown since 2018. We invested into newer product. We understand the market has shifted and uh, machining capacity have changed. People are looking for either a more better way to enhance the equipment that they have through efficiency or looking for equipment that will really, um, take that new purchase of the captain and make it uh, the max maximum performance it can do. Empowering digital manufacturing, what does that mean to you Vivek? It means getting data down to manufacturing and bringing real used to it, the real benefit to the operator, to the machine builder, and everyone who is, you know, part of this uh, chain of the part production. So welcome to Fuji Machine America, where we invite you to step up the Fuji automation to maximize your productivity and increase your profitability. Hey, with my good friend, Mr. Simon Shane. Simon, it's so good to see you again. Welcome back, Tony. 
great contributor to our company, valued friend for seven years. I'm delighted to see your success at MTD. You guys, he was so lazy, he started his own company and sells to everyone across the country. I don't think lazy is the right word. I'm going to go with creative.